and welcome to another Parts Factory Australia installation tutorial video. Today we're working on this Nissan Dualis. Um, specifically, we're going to be changing the radiator cooling fan. Super common problem in these Dualises, and it's also a catastrophic issue because, of course, if your thermo fan doesn't run, you pull up in some traffic on a hot day, um, you literally cook your engine there and then. So you definitely want to have a good one of these uh, at all time. You want to be able to hear it working at all times, basically, you know, whenever the, um, the car's hot and running, etc., etc. Now, it's gonna be a pretty easy job, I would say. These ones are just a clip out, they're not a bolt, so it's, yeah, it's usually just slide them out, but a few little things I wanna show you so that you don't cause any other damage when you're doing this job uh, to your car. Now, guys, we do have these available at Parts Factory Australia, so if you do need this part, Nissan Dualis cooling fan, a thermo fan, etc., uh, click the, uh, click the description of this video it'll drop down a little link there click on that cruise onto the website get it to you have the part in your hand then watch this video that way your car's not out of order for a few days while you wait for it to arrive in the post guys I believe they're about 243 bucks compared to Nissan Nissan's gonna be 600 and you're gonna wait a month for it to come into stock anyway so definitely uh, cruise onto the webby and check it out alrighty guys let's jump into it righty guys so cooling fan is just this one here but the issue is, is there's a few coolant lines that run around the area, basically stopping you from being able to pull it straight out. Now, the only one that's important that we move and um, kind of get it out of our way is this one here. So you actually just squeeze that little alligator uh, clip and uh, drag that hose clamp up and grab your pliers. Just crimp down on this um, hose, give it a twist, just so basically it breaks the seal and then you can just Pull that hose off. Yeah, you'll lose a little bit of coolant, guys. It's not gonna hurt it. Um, place this pipe way out of the way, completely out of the way. Uh, you got this little plug just here. I'm not sure if the camera can see that, but essentially you just lift this tab up and you can literally just pull that plug out. That's actually your, um, I think it's your fan speed or it's actually your radiator coolant temp sensor. It detects the ambient temperature of this area and speeds this fan up and down. The parts factory replacement includes one of them, if that's the problem with your cooling fan. Anyway, um, so this wiring loom's gonna get in our way when we pull it out, um, but a quick, a quick adjustment of where this wiring all is, just literally by removing this center one here, I would say, by taking this center one off, we can drag it up into the air and then pull Nah, I think it's gonna have to basically have this wire popped out of all these little clips here. So you just grab with the pliers and give it a little twist. See how it pops those little clips out? One, two, you got one here. I'm trying not to destroy the clips so that we can reuse them. That way everything's nice and clean and tidy when we go to put it all back together. That's an airbag sensor. So um, if you do stuff around in that area, make sure your battery's all um, unplugged there. So you can see this wiring loom can now come forward a bit, which is what we want because we're gonna wanna be able to pull this fan shroud up this direction. You got this hose here. I'm gonna use this oil dipstick to tuck it out of the way like that. Same thing coming along guys with your pliers, jamming it in, basically pulling them out like that. One, two, three, four, and five. Take a look, um, cameraman's having a little fit. <laughs> uh, so just here guys, again, you're just pulling it out. You see how that wiring looms now come off the body. And of course, the final step is this little plug. And usually, it can be, be a little bit of a pain to actually, oh yeah, so these ones, you grab the yellow plug like this, you push it back that direction, and it pops off like that. Now you can see the wiring loom is actually completely out of the way of our fan. So as you can expect, it's now time. See these little tabs? You depress those tabs, one and two. And you literally just pull the fan up into the air. I'm hoping it's gonna be nice and easy. Nissan's usually pretty good. And out comes the Nissan Dualis cooling fan. As you can imagine, the rest is fairly straightforward. Little wire here. Again, you pop it off, 
trying to save the clip itself. See how we've saved those clips? Pop it out of the fan. Same thing here, guys. To press the plug, pop it off, and grab it, chuck it away. <laughs> but I need this one, so we're gonna put this one back in. Um, but basically, there's nothing wrong with this one. Actually, I'm not sure. This car's in the, grave, in the graveyard, the car graveyard. So it's my job here today to show you how to put it in, put it back out, or take it out, put it back in rather. So hopefully now, you've already ordered your parts factory one, it's in your hand. It's obviously now time to put the new one, which is this one for us, back in the car. As you already now realize, it's a fairly straightforward job. So it's the exact same procedure, but in reverse. Step one though, is hopefully like this video and subscribe to the channel. If this is the content that you um, feel like you might need in the future, maybe you're a uh, car salesman or a used car dealer, etc., etc. definitely subscribe to the channel. You just never know when you're gonna need some content like this again and you might not be able to find us again. All right, so grab your fan. This is important. I'm standing on this little sand mound. You need to make sure that you don't damage the radiator when putting this in. So you kind of want to angle it like this, not like this, because if you stab a hole in your radiator, everything just got a lot more expensive. So, oh, don't forget, plug in. Plug in and tuck in. The rest we can do once it's down in there. This might be a little hard, but I'm sure you can manage it. There you go. Wiring loom up and out of the way, dropping the fan into where it belongs. Once you've got it down in the hole, bringing it back over to the, to the right. Remember, it has to line up down the bottom as well. I'm sure you guys can use your eyes, and line up the little clips down the bottom. Basically, finding where it's the sweet spot, I've found mine, and clipping it into place. It should be an audible click. Let's put the airbag plug on first, because it'll hold everything in place. Then I'm gonna just come along one, uh, where is the middle one here, two, all the way along. You got one here, three. Everything's coming together nicely. Remember your little fan speed resistor here. Plugging that in, it's a crucial part. The fan won't work without it plugging it in all the way along of course you got that one there now a little coolant pipe taking it off there plugging it in here and of course this one do not forget because otherwise it will have caused more harm than good your motor will be cooked in the matter of minutes all the way along this wire plugging it in here this has been leaking the whole time so it's it's gonna be um, we're gonna have to run the car top up the coolant few times don't forget to put the hose clamp on otherwise it'll just pop back off a little bit of a pain but I'm sure you'll get it and yeah that's literally it guys that was actually way easier than I thought obviously start your car up get it up to operating temperature top your coolant up and wait for the magic to happen the fans gonna turn on you'll hear it from even outside the car and it'll keep your um, cooling system cool and keep your engine running for another couple years alrighty guys thanks for watching another parts factory installation tutorial video uh, if you have appreciated the video don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel my name is Lucas thanks for watching I'll see you next time